I was about to leave the market and then I looked down and there was these two little puppy eyes looking up at me like, aren't you going to help me? She looked like a little baby chocolate Labrador and you don't really get brown dogs like that in Bali. And you sweet. And you sweet. I saw that she had the skin problem and this abnormally big belly. So I picked Tilly up and drove her to the vet. Dog in one hand, scooter on the other hand. That was a tough drive. She's looking very, very wrinkly. Now you're going to be the prettiest dog in Bali, aren't you? And you're better. The prettiest, chocolatiest dog in Bali. She came home with me for about two months until she could get better. Gotta get it all gone. Sorry. Little drama queen. You're looking better though. No more flakes. Flakes be gone. It's so much fun seeing her go from the scared little puppy that I found in the street to such a positive dog. <laughs> we found a really nice local Balinese family and it was the best thing. Come on Tilly, time to go to your new adoption home. Let's go meet them. As soon as she met her new family, they were in love instantly. Seeing a dog like Tilly find such an amazing home is just the perfect new start because she has this really wonderful life now. I moved to Bali in 2012 and I didn't really want to stop rescuing animals, so I continued doing that in my spare time pretty much every day. Normally, I meet an animal because I'm driving from A to B and any of my friends will tell you I'm late a lot of the time because it's really difficult to drive without seeing an animal that needs help, even if it's just to put some food down. That's better than nothing if I can give them a bit of medicine, whatever it is that can help them live a slightly more comfortable life. I'll try my best to help as many as I can. One evening, I met this white dog, Edafix. She was friendly and all she had to give was love. I came to visit her every other day, giving her food, checking on her skin. Here she is. She's called Edafix. Hey, Edafix. I took her to the vet and she got sterilized and vaccinated. You're so pretty. And you, Edafix. She got more and more friendly to the point where I'd turn up and she'd do this funny run going crazy running around in circles as fast as she could. You excited to see me? <laughs> it was her way of saying hello to me. It kind of cemented our relationship. I knew that I can't leave her. She had no fur almost, and now she's full of it, full of life. Look at her go. I appealed to almost everybody I knew, and Bagong, the guy who adopted Tilly, said we'd love to have her. We've been thinking about having a new friend for Tilly. Here's Tilly meeting you to fix for the first time. Are you two going to be friends? Are you two going to be friends? I missed you too, Tilly. It's just the perfect ending. It's just so nice to see these dogs come full circle. The best part about rescuing animals is seeing the difference in their lives, their mental state, their physical state, how they react to other people, how they know that not all humans are there to hurt them. I feel lucky that I'm able to be here to help rescue them and change their lives a little bit. I'd love for people to know that if you see an animal on the street, the very least thing you can do is show that there's somebody who cares about them.